Well, first problem is most people are coming into it like they have something working on Facebook. Facebook bans their account for no reason. They can't yeah. find out why they banned their account. And now they're making no money, but they have an offer that works. What am I going to do next? And that's when they're like, let me turn to native. It's kind of like, it's the, it's the, it's the second choice after you have something working and then they start doing native. And then all of a sudden they either get a new account or they get the account unbanned and then they just run back to whatever they felt comfortable with before. I see that like 50% of the time. The problem most of the time is that people are not willing to do what it takes to become successful. It's like, if you want to be physically fit and you don't eat healthy and you don't go to the gym, you're probably not going to be physically fit. If you only do it for a week, yeah. you're probably not going to see too many results. It's, it's no different. It's, you have to work at it. And so the advice I would give more than anything is having the right mentality going in. Like don't even get started if you're not willing to do what it takes to, to get this done. And also, unfortunately, you need some money to be able to make some losses to find out where you have the wins. Because a lot of times we start a campaign and we have to spend five or $10,000 just to find the placements within, even if we have a whitelist, which most networks don't even let you have. Even if we had a whitelist, you still have to spend money and spend three times the CP, CPA on each site just to see if it's, it'll work or not. And so um, I would say mentality, having a, a budget, and then also, um, if you weren't going to start on Outbrain or one of the big three networks, there's smaller ones that are not as easy to use, which for me and our buyers were a great place for them to learn because they had to do everything manually, but there was only a very tiny amount of scale, so they could never lose that much. And it was very high quality, so they were able to learn the nuts and bolts of those things um, without risking too much and having to think through that. So when it's done for you, at least you know what's going on in the background. But if I was just starting with Outbrain, I would try to find my way into um, a performance type whitelist if that's still available to new people. And I would, um, I would block as many of the sites that I didn't know of as quickly as possible. And then I would also block as many sites as I could based on poor performance. And I would bid up the ones that are doing well. I mean, unfortunately, the best thing for you to do is start with something that already you see and try to have your assets as close as possible to that without copying it. Not for you to make a gajillion dollars, but for you to get, get used to practicing with the software while not losing money. Because the first couple months, all you should hope for is that you can spend a couple thousand dollars a day and make a tiny bit or not lose anything. So you can get the, the rhythm of it and then yeah. start to get creative with your own creatives. But don't start with the offer you don't know works because then there's so many other variables that you're going to blame on yourself. Like, is it the offer? Is it the pre-sale? Is it the ad? I don't know. But if you start with something that you always see, then you pretty much know that at least the offer works and the pre-sale and the, and the image are good enough to, to, to maybe break even. Now, the person who first started with it is probably going to make a lot more because they came up with it and they've been running it and now it's saturated, but at least you won't lose money and you'll learn how to do it. And then when the next offer comes along, you'll be that much more prepared.